And obviously you've been very much involved with LTC4 really right from the start. Um, stakeholder buy-in, was that difficult or was that something that, that came fairly naturally as part of your, your programme? Um, I wouldn't say it came naturally. Um, and there were, were other members of our, uh, our firm that uh, Chris Swanson for, for, for certain and some of our American colleagues that were contributing before, before I was. And um, I know it's been, it's, been a, it's been a great journey that we've been on. To actually get the buy-in, um, again, I say this word natural, but when you can take advantage of when there is a pull from uh, senior management and you can start to hook into things, that, that was how, how it was happening for us. So when you could sell the benefits to um, any of the change that was being implemented to say, we really have got the confidence that um, when you are implementing this change, we know the impact, we can help you um, justify mm -hmm. the impact to the, the, the business and um, whether it is really worthwhile spending a lot of time and effort on training in particular areas and educating people in particular ways. Um, so it was a real confidence booster. And then when we could uh, build a business case to actually, we, we, we actually initiated that as a, an internal project. And so you built your business case and you, you, uh, you had to sell yourself and show your examples of how you already um, engaging with projects and the benefits that it was, it was bringing and examples of us moving to that um that one-to-one -one consultation delivery model and the benefits that that was bringing um then then the the, the buy-in was was there there was a lot in the legal press as well we we and ltc4 helped with a lot of the um the, the support materials and justification some of the science around it and 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 just the the thinking within the industry in general 